The Super Falcons of Nigeria stopped the indomitable lionesses of Cameroon from qualifying to the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. And this time around in 2024, the indomitable lionesses of Cameroon will be looking to exact their revenge against the Super Falcons by stopping them from qualifying to the 2024 Olympic female football event to be hosted in Paris, that's in France. 16 years ago, that was the last time the Super Falcons of Nigeria qualified for the Olympic female football event back in Beijing, 2008 Olympics. And this time around, Nigeria and Cameroon just played a goalless draw in the first leg of the third round of the qualifiers for the 2024 Paris Olympic female football event. Only 12 female football teams around the world will be participating at the Olympic female football event and CAF has been given two slots. For Nigeria to advance to the Olympic Games this year, we would have to defeat Cameroon in the second leg match which is scheduled for Monday the 26th of February to be played by 4pm Nigerian time at the MK Wabiola Stadium in Abuja. This is very interesting. This is the match where you give your all. However, if we win that game against Cameroon, that's not the end of the journey. We have to face the winner of the other game between Tanzania and South Africa over two legs to qualify because the winner after the fourth round of games would advance to the 2024 Paris Olympics. Can Nigeria make it to the next Olympics? Cameroon was impressive in their game against Nigeria today. You know, they showed that they wanted to get the result. They showed they wanted to get the victory at home against Nigeria, but it ended in a goalless draw for them. Not a bad result in my opinion, and they'll be hoping to come to Nigeria and shock the Super Falcons by defeating them in Abuja. The Super Falcons of Nigeria players want this more. They want to qualify to the Olympic Games. They want to be called Olympians, and I see them advancing, defeating Cameroon in the second leg match. Of course, this match was not easy, playing away from home at the state de la unification in Douala, Cameroon. We now have to ensure that when Cameroon comes to Abuja, we get the victory against Cameroon. This is a very strong side. Remember, this team is yet to lose a match since February last year. In fact, at the FIFA Women's World Cup, we finished at the round of 16 without losing the game in regular time. We were only knocked out by England via penalties. So I feel this is a very strong side and if they can work well together, if they can play well together, we have the talent to defeat Cameroon and hopefully Tanzania or South Africa in the final round of games. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, let's take it one match at a time. We have to ensure we get the victory against Cameroon when they come to Abuja. From our star players, as is to show that they have to turn up, we have a very good attacking lineup, you know, Esther Okonko is there. Amorong is all of Abadji, she's also impressed today, she's also there. Uche Nakanu is there. These players can step up and will be a major threat to Cameroon. From the midfield, Rashida Tajibali, the captain of the side, Deborah Abiodu, Christy Uchebe, Alematu Aide. These are very good players to the defense. Ashley Plumter, you know, Osinachi Ali, Oluwato Sendimei, Michel Alozi, Rofia Timuron. These are very good girls, of good ladies, you know, fantastic players as well. But I just feel like, you know, we have to take this match serious against Cameroon. We don't want to happen in previous years to happen again this time around. When we first to qualify to the Olympics in 2012 in London, in 2016 in Rio, and in 2021 in Tokyo. This time around in 2024, we want to make it to the Olympic Games, you know, because this is a very talented crop of players. And I believe, you know, they can make it to the Olympics. We have to take it one game at a time. We have to defeat Cameroon on Monday the 26th of February when they come to the MK Abiola Stadium to face Nigeria and hopefully we get the result. Even if it's one goal to nil or two goals to nil, absolutely fine. Let's just advance to the fourth round where we will face Tanzania or South Africa. So Super Falcons, I know you will do it. It's not a bad result getting a draw away from home in Cameroon. You know, yeah, let's see how it goes and I'll see you on Monday. Expect match preview for that game. Thanks for watching and as always, have a good day guys.